Hi there, this is Ali Sharifi here and in this video I'm going to show how to combine growth value and growth percentage in one measure by using DAX formatting. Uh, for this demonstration I have created a simple sales model and we have two measures here as you can see we have uh, sales growth that it is the difference between the sales amount this year and last year and also we have sales growth percentage that's a percentage of the sales growth on sales amount last year we could use each of these measure on a different visual card but the problem is when you want to have both of them in uh, one card visual it doesn't handle it because uh, in card visual you can only have one measure so for combining we need to go and create a new measure i will name the new measure say growth label and then i will use format function to give them the right format format function have two parameters the first one is the value that you can use measure or any column name in the table so here i will use uh, sales growth and then the second parameter is format string that you can use any uh, custom format for example here sales growth value should have currency format uh, i will use color sign and in this format it allows me to have a decimal a number with the two decimal point then after that i will use and and parentheses then another format This one, uh, this one we will use gross percentage and the format testing for percentage is similar to the other one but this time we will use percentage at the end so this is showing the percentage between the small points and then another end and close the parentheses now we have the new measure created just need to go bring a new car and show the new measure on this you can see both of the measure appear on the card visual But the problem is uh, the, the value, the dollar value, showing a very big number. So if you go to the look at the original card with the sales growth, so we can see here because this is the numeric value. So if you look at the data label, the display unit is auto. When it is auto, you can see the unit get calculated automatically for example now it is million if you go to choose a different filter that giving the less value you can see now it is coming at thousand now let's go to see how we can fix this problem uh, and change by changing the dax for me by the new measure for saving the time i have created the formula and just copy that on the measure so let's go to replace this with that one that's exactly uh, using the same structure but this time we have some sorry i just need to put another if here okay so we have used some if to validate the 
the gross value, the, the sales growth to see if it is uh, less than 1 million, if it is sorry, greater than 1 million, so we will go to show it as a, with a million unit, unit. So you can see here, now we are validating saying that if sales growth is uh, greater than 1 million, now come and instead of the using showing the sales growth, divide that by 1 million and then format to the uh, to the small point and then we are just adding uh, m for million at the end of that then we are going to have another if that is uh, some inner if uh, if the value is less than 1 million it will go to the second part the second part it is another if so this one, we are validating the value by 1000. If the value is greater than 1000, we are dividing the value on 1000 and show the remainder by two uh, units. And then if the value would be less than 1000, we will show the pure value. And after that, same as the previous one, we are uh, appending that to the uh, sales gross percentage. Now let's go and see how the measure changing after this change. So you can see here, this showing the value exactly the same as the original one. Now it is on K. When I go and remove the filter, showing me as a million. For example, let's go to this one and take it for one product. This one, as you can see, showing the growth as a pure number. So by using DAX formula, we could combine two measures in one and also apply uh, auto unit formatting on it. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to subscribe our video channel.